Hello there amazing person. Don't mind the washing machine in the back. I can't believe how fast this week went. The week is over. I'm just finished with my work, my uh, regular job. And right now I'm waiting for the groceries to be delivered upstairs. Other than that, I have so many things planned, not all fun and games, but so many things. And we're gonna start right now with all of my weekend plans. This week's groceries are <laughs> a lot more random than I usually get my groceries. I just bought everything that was um, marked off. I have coffee milk, noodles, fake, um, fake meat, more noodles. I was out of baking soda, packages of drinks more fake meat and this is couscous but not with the, the grains it's with cauliflower so it's basically vegetables with coriander I love this stuff this is more fake meat but to put in the oven and also a hash Cauliflower hash browns, some gluten free bread, lentils. I'm going to eat one of these. It's plant based mousse with chocolate. More fake meat, and I'm also going to have this. I'm going to the movie theater in a couple of hours. I'm going to bring this with me. And I thought I was going to bring this with me, but I'm going to eat one tonight in front of the television or while I'm editing. First thing I'm going to do this weekend is test this theory. I bought this sweater and it's so comfortable it's so thick as you can see it's really there's a lot of fabric and it's wool <laughs> it's extremely itchy so i'm going to put it in ice cold water with vinegar white vinegar and then i have to leave it for a while rinse it out and then cover it with conditioner hair conditioner i read somewhere else fabric softener but i'm going with hair conditioner and after it's dry i'm gonna have to put it in a freezer so that's the process that's what i'm going to do and hopefully um this sweater will become less itchy even touching it like this you can feel a kind of a i don't know an itchiness is that even a word <laughs> but i can really feel that it's itchy even when i'm not wearing it i think the skin on your neck and wherever is a lot more sensitive than your hands i'm not sure but i can feel that it that it's itchy even when i'm touching it like this so cold water vinegar and after that conditioner and i think this is going to be ready maybe after the weekend or Sunday and then I'll show you the results. It's really a lot of sweater. It's a huge sweater and the bucket isn't really that big. So I'm really going to have to push it in in order to have everything covered this looks about right i'm also going to exchange the buttons because i don't like the buttons on the sweater i have beautiful buttons that i'm going to put on so this has to sit for a while i'm not sure how long it has to sit in the water but i'm going to the movie in two hours and after that, I trust that 
Ooh, this water is so cold. When I'm home in, I think, four or five hours, I think the process will be done. I'm not sure. Oh, thank God, it's too heavy to lift. I'm really not sure what the process is, what the chemistry is between vinegar and wool that's itchy. But people have been doing it for a long, long time. The oldest post I saw about this was seven years ago, so I trust that. see movie Nightmare Alley which is very appropriate because I'm walking through an alley and it's not a nightmare but it's a realistic situation I shouldn't do these things alone <laughs> I always end up walking alone outside in the dark but it's mainly because I go to the movies alone a lot of times and that is because you're not supposed to talk when you're going to a movie. So why would you go with somebody, right? It doesn't make any sense. I really don't want to give it all away, but Nightmare Alley is, um, it's in the 1940s and it's about a carnival. It kind of gives me the vibe of American Horror Story, the season where they were the carnival, but without a horror. And it's about a very overambitious mentalist. And there's a plot twist. There's a lot of traffic here. There is a plot twist, a very unnecessary plot twist. So beware of that. It's not the greatest movie, but we haven't seen a lot of movies this year. So everything is a good movie. Everything is good enough this year. So, um, yeah, 1940s, carnival, unnecessary plot twist, that about sums it up. It's an entertaining movie and I wouldn't watch it for a second time, but I'm glad I went to see it. It's just a movie you have to see for yourself. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. I thought I was going to go home and edit a lot and make it a long night, but I ate a donut with jelly in it and the jelly fell all over me, my phone and everything. So I have to clean everything in my bag. And then I have to take a shower because everything is really sticky. And I think after that, I'm just going to watch some Netflix and call it a day. I'll get up early tomorrow morning and start editing then. Do a lot of, you know, work stuff instead of cramping it into the night tonight. I'm just going to switch it all up, um, go to bed early and wake up tomorrow very early. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. As I was cleaning my bag and everything, including my phone, my phone is really messy. I realized that I still have this sweater on the sink. It has been sitting in acid water and I have to rinse it out with a hair conditioner. And after that, it's supposed to be baby salt. I have to say, I said earlier that it felt very itchy even while touching it with my hands. And it does 
feel a tiny bit softer now. I can still feel the, the wool, the fabric, but it's not, um, I don't know how to say this. I can still feel the wool, the fabric, but it, it's not, it's flat. I don't know how else to say it. It feels flat. Um, the wool does feel a lot flatter now. I do feel the structure of the wool, but it's flat. It's not really sticking out. And, um, you know, I think that's what's causing the itch. So I'm going to condition it like we would do with hair. Same with this sweater. And I guess because a conditioner softens the hairs, in this case, hair of the sheep, <laughs> it's going to be less itchy, less static or whatever causes the itch. So let's do this. It's extremely heavy because it's filled with water. I really can't see another way than to do this in the top because um, I can't rinse it out in a small bucket because of the sweater is so, so big. It really smells like sheep in here. You know how sheep smells when you're on a farm? A kid's farm with sheep, that's how it smells in here because the sweater is uh, wet. It smells like wet dog in here because the sweater is wet. <laughs> I don't think we can, um, I think we can establish that this is real wool. But I really hope that using conditioner is also going to help with this smell. So let's get on to it. Let's not overdo it. You have to treat it like real hair. You have to rub it in and not leave any space unconditioned. So I'm gonna be here for a while. This was definitely a lot of work. So it says hand wash only. So I gotta, it says hand wash only. So I gotta be really careful not to lift it and hang it to dry because it's an extremely heavy sweater. I can say sweater, but it's a vest. It's a very heavy vest and you don't want it to stretch out really weird. So I'm going to lay it on top of this with holes and hopefully it's going to dry tonight or during the day tomorrow i'm not sure but eventually it will dry it it's really weird it it's wet but not it looks like it's not completely wet i don't know how to say it. it's like this um wool doesn't seem to let a lot of water in but it soaked all of the water in and now the water is not coming off of it. So I'm really hoping, I think it's really high porosity wool. I'm really hoping that if I lay it flat on top of this, it will dry in, you know, within a day or something. You can see all of the, the hairs that come out of it. I never had an itchy sweater. I don't normally go for wool. This is a first, so I really hope that this does the trick. They also say when it's dry, when you've conditioned it, like if this is dry, you have to also put it into the freezer for a couple of hours. Not wet, because then it will just get really hard. But I'm going to try and put it in the freezer when it's dry, if it's not soft enough. But I have to admit, it really feels 
really, really soft right now. And this is basically my plan for tonight. Just lay it flat and hope for the best. A lot of water does come out, but I'm not gonna stand here and push all the water out all night. So I hope gravity will do the work and that it will be as good as dry tomorrow morning. So right now I'm going to take a shower. So that was it for the sweater today. I am going to take a shower because I'm still sticky from the donut that fell on me. And we'll check on the sweater again tomorrow morning.